Guys, what's happening? So in today's video, we're going to be getting rid of all this sh stupid silver trim and all this down here. Uh, I've got another bit for this, but I'll show you that when it comes to it. We're going to be getting rid of all this silver around all of here. And it's Kim that's going to be doing it. Hi, guys. So she's going to be the one that's going to be showing you how he easy it is to get rid, well, pull all of this out. So let's do it. So you need to start with the door being open on the passenger side. All this trim right here is on clips. So you just need to try pull it off without snapping it. So it's basically got push clips all the way across it. Um, when you're pulling it, it does feel like it's going to snap, but that's to the point where the clips are releasing the sends. So you just need to work with it, give it a bit of a wiggle, and just pull it, and they all just pop out. Obviously, don't just go in and rag it because you're going to snap it. But there you go, that's the first bit off. Were you scared? Did you think you were going to break it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the first bit off. I'll just hold that here. So we'll get all these bits off in a minute. I'll show you, how, well, Kim will show you how to do them. Um, but this screen and the cat, the vent, and this bit, um, you take this off and same behind there. You use a small torque bit like this and that'll get them off. So with this being a sat nav model, it's got two clips on the back. Um, you've got this one just right here that'll pull out, like so. And then you've got another one which is on a, it's on like a, a flick tab. So you just flick it up, and then that'll pull out, and that's as easy as it gets. The only thing that you've got on them that you need to take off, obviously, when we come to paint this, I'll show you how to do it. But you've got some really small torque bits just on each corner right there as you can see um, and all these extra fan bits they just pop off but as I say I'll show you how to do them as well so yeah we'll just get the next bits off so this gear gator you literally just grab it and it pops out it's just got some little clips around it so that just pulls out really easy and then same again with all the rest of it. So this will pull out easy enough. And then this next bit, you've got to do it in kind of a sequence. Um, so like Kim's just done there, she's tried to pull it, but she's realized now that it's stuck and she ain't gonna have a chance to pull it up because it's stuck. <laughs> well done. So what you need to do now is, ideally you need to try force this bit here up and out so you need to get this and pull this out if you can it does take a bit of a pull does that I remember this one. right so I remembered how to do it so a nice top tip instead of trying to struggle like him well if you get your thumbs on each side all the way in I don't or your hands or whatever push out like that and it just pops all clips out um, obviously you need to squeeze over that bit there but it should all just easily pull out now with a bit of a wiggle wiggle you got it yeah it doesn't matter about that makes it easier for us just leave it like that so that's the bottom section out I'd say I am going to replace this with something else but I'll show you that when it comes to it 
so that's another piece we'll just put that there and then now you'll be able to get that piece that you struggled so hard with <laughs> right so next it's just these two pieces right here which I'll just quick little off same again it feels like you're gonna snap it but they're just on some little push clips and the pull off I say fairly easy <laughs> Here we go. So I don't need to do these because these have already been painted or wrapped or whatever they are. Um, but if you ever want to take these out, these have got basically the same torque screws as what have been taken out of these um, just in the back here. Um, you've got to turn the steering wheel round and it's a bit of a pain but they are tucked right into the back and then they just pop off same with the switches so that's the screen out um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to show you how to get these fan inserts out um, or whatever you want to call them um, so it's pretty easy you've got some little push clips all the way around it and on the inside same again on this side and then same with these smaller ones they're the same so you've got some little push clips on the side right there and then some on right there so we're going to pull all them out. Alright, so I've got all the parts out now. Um, and all the bits that I'm going to be using. Um, you might be wondering what this is but I'll show you in a minute um, so I'm just going to be using a bit of high build etch primer just as a primer out of the can makes it a lot simpler and I'm going to use a gen flex plastic primer which you can rather put it in a paint gun and spray it on or wipe it on with a cloth hence why I've got a cloth here um, it's really good stuff um, ideal for plastics like this um, engine covers and stuff like that obviously when they heat up um, like these it gets hot inside of the cars heats up starts expanding and retracting which then you start getting that crazy paint effect that'll help stop that um, or stop it altogether you won't have to worry about that happening so I'll be sanding these down with this 500 then I'll be applying that giving it a quick sand again sticking edge primer on just to be safe um, I can do it either way I can put the primer on first then that or that and then that it doesn't really matter which way you do it um, I'll be masking all this bit up because I want to keep this carbon um, same with that so I'll be masking that up I'll put the tape all the way across it and then I'll cut it across the line with this nice sharp when it wants to get it with this nice sharp blade um, so that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to explain this now so we've taken this centre bit out um, I don't really use it I've got the centre compartment that I can use um, which is supposed to be a drinks holder and what they did is they got the rear cup holders from below the rear seats and put them inside of there so that's what I did. I did it ages ago just as a little showpiece um, for the work that I did. Um, but obviously because I'm going gloss black, I'll be sanding this back and doing that gloss black. But basically what it is, like so. 
Um, I have had to do a little repair on the inside. As I say, it was only meant to be a showpiece, but I thought, why not? I might as well tidy it up. So I've plastic welded that because it was cracked. I'll sand it back and I'll paint it all up so you can't even tell it's there. But yeah, fancied a little cup holder. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've got my low tap masking tape and I've put it over the bits that I don't want to paint. As I said, I don't want to get rid of, rid of the carbon. Um, so what I'm going to do is put that over and 9 out of 10 what you can do is if you rub over them like so just get your nail or sharp edge and run it down you'll see the outline of the bit that you want to mask out and then what you'll do is you'll get your sharp knife and then cut to the outer edge. So that's them two now all masked off so I don't go over my carbon, um, so I don't get spray on it. Um, the other good thing about this is I can sand nicely over this so I normally would and not have to worry about scratching the carbon that's underneath this. So that's another tip that you can follow if you want to. Just makes life a whole lot easier. So that's everything sanded and everything masked that I don't want to be painted. Uh, I'm gonna get the panel wipe now, panel wipe it all down and then I'm gonna get this plastic primer on. Chucky beef. So as I say, I'm gonna be putting this plastic primer on, you can wipe it on with a cloth. So just to show you how easy this is to use. Let's just wipe it on like that. As you can see it's got like a clear colour. Like it's dull here. I'm gonna wipe it over. That's how you know you've got enough on. You just need to give it a quick wipe over like that and then that's done it'll be dry within probably five, ten minutes at most. Same again with this, you can see how dull it is. Wipe this on, makes it all nice and shiny again. Nice and easy to see where you're applying it. I know I'm not sponsored by it, I'm just, it's just a product that I've used for quite a couple of years. So I've just thrown a quick coat of that edge primer on it. It's a lot thicker than the plastic primer, so if there's any light scratch marks roll like that, that's what it's there for. So I'm gonna leave that to dry now for probably about half hour. And then I'll get the black on. So these are the cupboards, how they're originally starting off. And I'll show you like now and when they're done and on. I know it's a bit random but still car related because I'm spraying them. Like an idiot, I didn't measure, I didn't have a look. Um, in the old car, this would fit, and I'm gutted it's not gonna fit in this one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the original. The main reason is because this has been made longer to carry this in. Behind there, I think it's the sports butt module or something like that. Um, has been put in a place where it would have slotted into so I don't really want to move it I don't want to mess about with none of that wires I hate electrics so I'm just going to have to put the standard part in 
I'm going to have to spray that up and put that in as much as I don't really want tar to like to have had that in but I've got the cup holders in the back so it's not the end of the world to be fair so yeah I'm going to have to paint the original part and then put that in I just thought I'd let you know I'm gutted like obviously but I can't I can't do out about it so yeah I'm going to paint that part, part up paint out the rest of them gloss uh, like a piano black gloss black and then hopefully it all comes out fine so that now is all these bits prepped sanded back I'm going to hit them with the piano gloss black now it's a 2k so it's a solid black don't need to base coat it and then clear coat it just goes straight on and dries the gloss so I'm going to get that dusted on now and then I'll leave it to dry a bit and then stick a heavier coat on So that's all of it now in the piano black. So I'm just gonna leave them to dry now. And then I'll probably leave them overnight and then once they dry, if I've got any little bits in them or all like that, I'll flat them out, buff it, and then I'll put them in. Right guys, so we're on day three now. I painted these and left these to sit and settle overnight. Um, they've come out brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, these are the odd little bits which you can expect from painting outside light, but they are little tiny, tiny bits. Um, I'm gonna put these in the car, leave them probably for a week, and then I'll flat them down some 3,000 and give them a buff and that'll get rid of all the little bits but in, in every single one there's like noting that noting that just mainly these bigger bits um, but yeah they're looking really really good so I'm gonna get the tape off these that and that and then get the screen in and all the little fans and little bits that go in behind these. So I've now got all the vents and the tape off. Um, obviously you can see all marks where my greasy hands have been so I've got a cloth just to wipe it all down when I get them all on. So I'm going to start piecing everything in. It's basically exactly the same of how I took it all out so we want to be starting with this little thing here we want to get that on which just pushes straight on like so as I say I've got a cloth just to wipe all the finger marks out it is fully dry um, got this thing Obviously, I can't put the one with the cup holders in because it just won't gonna happen. And I'm gonna try do this with one arm if I can. Got it in after a bit of force. Just that one just drops straight in. Ah, oh, it looks so much better already. We've got the gear gator. That should just pop straight in let's say that's just all push clips look how much better it looks that one goes in there so that's that one sexy so that's all the fans in I'll say mind these marks I will get them with the cloth um, but yeah it looks so much better it looks so much nicer I mean it's a shame I can't get all black these because it's gonna start irritating me now because I've got all matching I am gonna have to do these at some point um, but as I said they can be a nightmare we're taking them off and then having to plastic weld them 
um, but at some point I am going to try saw sort something for it um, and do the same with that but I just need to get these bolts in or little torque bits and then I'll get these flat bits on so that's all of the vents now in obviously you can't see the other side and then this bottom bit so I'm just going to clip all these center trims now I've got all the bolts on these um, so I'm just gonna pop these on right quick got them all in looks so much more like modern it brings it so much more up to date and these middle bits as well fits in nicely with the, all this and then we've got them bits in as well so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get my cloth and as I say all these I'll just wipe away no more greasy hand marks today's video guys oh three days in my case um, but I hope you enjoyed it until next time see you later